small states have an important role to play. In our world, which has undergone great transformations in the past few years, we are witnessing the emergence of multiple centers of influence, each with its own political, economic, and technological strengths. New conflicts and major confrontation between big power blocks put the international order in real jeopardy. These interconnected threats impact billions of us. I am often asked about how Qatar has been able to balance between these two big powers as a small state. Qatar believes in the interdependence of the international community. This conviction makes, makes it possible for us to have a strong commercial partnership with China while maintaining our strategic alliance with the United States. In the same year, we were designated, uh, de designated as uh, a non-NATO ally to the US. We also signed three new energy deals with China. Our ability to navigate our relations with China and the US is grounded in our adaptability, diplomatic engagement, and pursuit of mutually beneficial interests. Small states at time better positioned to play a critical role in resolving conflicts. Because small states are often more affected by geostrategic competition, heightened tensions, and economic insecurity, we must be resilient and positively engage whenever and wherever possible. Leaders of small states must be prepared to face these challenges, not, pass not as a passive onlooker, but as active participant in building peace and stability, as facilitator of dialogue, and as an agile mediator in global conflicts. Qatar succeeds in such engagements by focusing our efforts on three main areas, alliance building and multilateralism, peace facilitation, and investment in economic growth for future generations. For Qatar, as a small state in a turbulent neighborhood, alliance building and multilateralism is a key. Small states need to take an active international role, have a clear voice, and defend the international order and the rule of law, which holds significant importance in protecting our interests and fostering stability. Working together has never been more important. Ladies and gentlemen, Qatar also focuses on peace facilitation to strengthen international peace and security. This has been one of the key pillars of our foreign policy for more than 25 years. Small states can open reliable channels of communication between countries, which can serve as an opportunity to strengthen strategic partnerships with major powers in the international community, resulting in vital ceasefires, dialogues, and peace and security arrangement. With Iran, we reached an agreement with the US becoming the key mediator in the recent prisoner swap deal, and in opening financial channels for humanitarian purposes that will help in resolving long-lasting issues. A step that we hope will lead to a wider dialogue on the nuclear issue. Before this, in August 2021, we succeeded in mediating between Taliban and the United States, which resulted in the end of, of a war that spanned more than two decades. Qatar played a critical role in one of the biggest humanitarian airlift in the recent history, successfully evacuating more than 80,000 individuals through Qatar. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of our countries lies in the hands of our future generations. In the case of Qatar, the last decades has, has taught us a crucial, a crucial lessons, inspiring us to set out a concrete plans, which balances risks and rewards, and take into account present demands with the future needs of generations to come. It was vital for us to ensure that we build a lasting legacy and carry on our wealth to our future generations. 
We are a young country guided by a leader who is recognized around the world as an ambitious and forward-looking. Using the wealth we generated, we invested in our country and our people. We invested in education and infrastructure, establishing a state-of-the-art airlines, airport, and seaport, while becoming experts in logistics, technology, and professional services. Our mission now is, become, is to become a center of connectivity. As a transit hub, Qatar is located at the gateway between the East and West and offers unparalleled market access and connectivity to billions of people across more than 25 economies. 80% of the world's population is within a six hours flight from Qatar and Asia, Europe and United States are all just 18 days away from Qatar by ship. Qatar has a long, a long term vision on the industries that will continue to form the backbone of its domestic economy with multiplier effect on the global economy as a whole. This is what guides the vision of our country as well as our investments in select industries around the world, such as here in Singapore. Investments in education, healthcare, and social welfare must remain at the forefront of our priorities, providing opportunities for our citizens, equip them to contribute meaningfully to the world stage while ensuring a robust social foundation for progress. Distinguished guests, for the longest time, we have looked at small states as countries that are limited in their size. But today, looking at successful examples of small states, such as Singapore and Qatar, we see how small states use the tools and strategies at their disposal to become successful actors in the international community. History show, shown us that size does not dictate favorable outcomes. Through planning, fostering global partnership, and nurturing our inherent strengths, small nations will not only succeed, but also inspires others to do so. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to our discussion.